Well, Graham, it's been a while since we've been in the ELMS paddock, hasn't it? It's been a couple of months. It's has been a couple of months. It's been a very busy time for insurance racing, but no racing since Barcelona for the European Le Mans series. But right now, we start this mad rush across Europe with, what is it, five races in, in three, three months in th at four different circuits with two races to finish the season now at Portimao in Portugal. But Barcelona was a fantastic season opener. We were treated to some incredible racing and a win from Racing Team Turkey. Win from Racing Team Turkey in an LMP2 Pro-Am car winning overall. Duquesne team took the maximum points in LMP2 finishing second overall and behind LMP3 and GTE. Bit of carnage at the start of that race, but what that means is there's some very good cars that have got points to make up and they're going to be looking to do that quickly here at Paul Ricard in this blazing sunshine. I know and it is such a warm one here in the south of France. What can the drivers be expecting? Heat. Lots and lots of heat. <laughs> As can we. Yeah, absolutely. It's a fast track. It's a technical track at the end of the, uh, the lap here at Paul Ricard but high speed, lots of overtaking possibilities in the wide open spaces of this fantastic Paul Ricard circuit. And after such a long break, I'm sure the drivers are eager to get back on the circuit and prove what they're capable of. Gagging for it, I think, is the answer on this front. Very much an excited paddock for the European Le Mans series. Packed, 42 cars again, four hours of racing, and you can join us for every single second of that live on YouTube and across the European Le Mans series social media channels.